I'm Google translating mobs 10,000 times and making whatever result we get. First, we've got cow. Translating soldier? Well, I guess with soldier, we could make Master Chief from Halo. Pull this head off and stand this piece of beef upright. Place on a base armor color. Add the Spartan Super Soldier armor texture. Build out this intake suit on the back. Now beef up these shoulder bits and beef up his legs. Then pull the armor all around this cow here and we could just leave the visor wide open. For a soldier, we definitely have to put him inside of a coliseum and Master Chief is looking intense. Soldier, 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 soldier. We've got an entire army of Master Chiefs hovered in Spartan steel from head to toe. But let's grab ourselves a couple Vindicators and they corner the Vindicators instantaneously. And each Spartan actually has the ability to do AOE damage and now they're gonna wipe them down and one Vindicator goes down right there. There goes another one and the last Vindicator is holding on for dear life but not for long because he just got wiped as well. An army of Master Chiefs, definitely not something you wanna mess with. Let's try to translate something a little more dangerous though. Next, we've got a creeper here to translate. Debt. Okay, I guess we could just turn this creeper into Wilson Fisk, AKA the Kingpin. <laughs> Pull him apart first so we can balloon up his entire body. And the kingpin has such a large body, his head is gonna sit nearly on his chest. Build him down like a massive bowling pin with some teeny tiny little legs. Then we can duplicate these feet over and over and over to make some muscular arms. Texture on his black suit, and we'll keep the creeper head on there in case we gotta blow this guy up. And we have got the kingpin himself. But I'm glad we still got the creeper Creeper hands and the creeper face. He definitely appears stronger than Master Chief, but he doesn't have the armor. He's mainly just wearing a nice tuxedo. Let's grab a mob that might try to steal from the kingpin. And let's just grab like six or seven. He says, no way, no way. Jumps into the air. Oh my word. Actually smashes the ground, destroying our Coliseum. That was kind of insulting again. Oh boy. Wait a second. He almost nuked himself and then survived a Still, the kingpin is having an adventure with the witches. There's only one witch still left, and by but wait a second, was actually able to knock the kingpin. It looks like even if you're a crime lord, black magic can still come out on top. Let's see what else we can translate. Let's toss this squid in the translator. Purple? Wait, we could make purple from rainbow friends. Pull the squid head off and then duplicate it to make purple's body. Of course, texture him all the way purple. Then use some of these tentacles to build purple super long arms. Those massive eyes you'd see watching you from a vent. And purple has some really wide flat feet, but we can definitely just define the fingers and toes. I'm not sure if purple's gonna be able to survive on land, so I brought purple to the water. Those arms are sticking out quite longly. And purple actually does go right to the water. If I place a bunch of purple remakes over here, every single purple instantaneously right to the water. But we've also given Purple the ability to be able to grab mobs from land and bring them into the water. Almost exactly like Purple would do inside of a vent. Watch what happens as soon as Purple grabs the Vindicator off of land, passes it off to another Purple, and then boom, boom, sayonara, sucker. A suffocating demise for all of the Vindicators. Let's try translating another land animal next. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we translate a pig. Attempting employed? I don't know who would hire a piece of pork, but SpongeBob has a job. So let's make SpongeBob. We'll first grab this pig head and spread it wide like the sponge. Then paste on the SpongeBob yellow. And we need a face. Bam! Pull off his torso so we can add SpongeBob's little white shirt, his brown pants, and his red tie. Couple of SpongeBob arms and his tiny twig legs, and then just his crusty crab hat to certify his employment. We've got SpongeBob in Minecraft. He came in two at a time. For some reason, this sponge is the burger flipping master with his official crusty crab uniform, which is apparently just a hat. <laughs> But we've built SpongeBob to defend the Krusty Krab at all costs. 
instantaneously starts tossing burgers. Wait a second. Those aren't Krabby Patties. That's a pork potato sandwich. I think both of these vindicators, bam, and this last one right here is about to get knocked by a sort of food coma. That amount of pork could easily wipe out a kidney. This SpongeBob is so poorly translated. I don't think Plankton wants his hands on this pork formula. Maybe being employed wasn't the best option. What's going to happen if we translate a skeleton? Let's see. Bone Boss? Actually, the Bone Boss skin from Fortnite could be perfect. Toss on the classic Bone Boss color to start, flatten out the skeleton skull, and stack them up on top of each other to build the layers to our Bone Boss head. And Bone Boss will have this tongue that always hangs way out. The olive toothpick has turned to bone here as well. Strap on the rib texture for now, then insert the Bone Boss belt. We've got the Bone Boss in Minecraft. Gotta be honest, he looks pretty good in Fortnite. The Bone Boss is even holding on to a bone crowbar. I don't know what limb you grabbed that from. Probably a femur or a shin or bicep something. What happens if you bring multiple bosses of bones? Actually looks like they might be waiting for orders. Hello, Vindicators. They were waiting for orders. All of the Bone Boss in Unity attacked. Wait, no, they didn't. The most unique approach of all. They built themselves onto a massive platform to get out of danger and then started throwing bones down? They decided to come back down to the Colosseum floor? The platform works well as long as you stay on top of it, but the Bone Boss is for sure at least a 6 out of 10. Let's see if we can do something smarter and cuter. If we translate a sheep, it should turn out pretty cute. A uh, liver? I guess let's remake this sheep into Jabba the Hutt because he's kind of liver-like. Fatten up his brain, then fatten the body and plug it into his fat head. Now give him a slimy slug green texture and extend the slug a long ways out. Then pull back on the last couple pieces of sheep to make the boils on Jabba the Hutt. I'm bringing this guy to the water because he might need to get washed off. Ooh, he looks gross. All of the liver and slimy green slug nature. The sheep boils might be the only cute portion. If I bring in one too many of these guys, ooh, it's getting a little stinky around here. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my magic stick to wipe out some of this stink. Of course, we still gotta give him something neat to do. Just pop in a victim right here. And Jabba the Hutt vomits wool right onto the Vindicator, wiping him out in one hit. Toss in one more Vindicator just to see the stomach acid smacking him down to melt him into the sand. How did a sheep end up so ugly? Let's try the opposite. Grab something ugly. See if we can make it cute. Let's try and do a spider next. Translating rat. It's still ugly, but we could make it cute by making Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Pull this head off, then Mickey Mouseify the classic face and the classic ears. Now for Mickey's body, just remove some extra spider legs. And we could actually just leave him crawling to keep that rat behavior, but add Mickey's red shorts. And plug the classic yellow shoes onto each leg. And there is a Mickey Mouse rat. We brought him into a stadium to protect him. Because even though we left his rat qualities, it's still Mickey. In the stadium, we could put a large amount of creepy Mickey Mouse fans. Hey. And they'll slither their way onto the field as well. Our greatest secret is that Mickey Mouse might be the most dangerous model we've created thus far. Vindicator C. Mickey Mouse and then whack him straight away and as soon as they do, Mickey explodes. And when Mickey explodes, it damages the Vindicators around. A sort of loving self-sacrifice of the Rat Mouse. Let's see if we can get something a little more destructive though. Next up, let's translate a wolf. Poorly translating bad Santa? We could turn this wolf into Krampus, the beast of Christmas. First, we'll stand the wolf upright, then we need to turn the usual Minecraft wolf into a beastly werewolf. So extend this tail way out. And build on extra long fingernails, texture some beastly skin, and then Krampus in Legend has some extremely long horns. We've got Krampus inside Minecraft, the absolute worst influence on Christmas ever. This translation is bad, as the name says. And Krampus is actually dropping cookies to try and confuse 
anybody that might be tempted to have themselves a little munch. If you've been bad this year, Krampus might visit you. And just to find out what'll happen if he does, let's bowl in these husks. Right around Christmas, Krampus is gonna spot all the bad kids. And he is gonna lure them down with some cookies, pull them in, and then whack them. No presents for you, buddy. Which means if you want some presents, make sure to listen to your parents. Otherwise, Krampus over here is gonna come and get you. Also, don't eat any cookies you find on the ground. Let's leave the holidays alone for a second, though. What about if we translate an Enderman? Translating footballer? Huh? Let's turn this Enderman into a football player from Mario. How about charging Chuck? Pull off these teeny arms and teeny legs, fatten up this chest so it could be huge. Plug in some classic blue shoulder pads and some football pads on charging Chuck's legs too. Then I'll attach the football cleats and a burly Koopa is gonna have an interesting face, okay? Now his helmet and his face guard to match. Oh, and we definitely have to add the other limbs. And we have got charging Chuck. This beefy Koopa is geared up and ready to rock. What happens if we pop in an entire football squad? I really would not like to be this Vindicator right now. They instantly circle around this Vindicator and they're throwing Ender Pearls at him instead of footballs, which makes complete sense. But these Ender Pearls are actually doing significant damage and that Vindicator did not last long. Let's make an entire football team full of Vindicators. Two football teams battle it out on the soccer field. And these Enderman footballers not only appear beefier, but also it looks like they're stronger. We definitely need to grab a villain that can stand up to some of these mobs, but before we do, let's see what happens if we translate the tiniest mob of all. How about we translate the Minecraft chicken? What is this gonna be? Plants? I'll turn this chicken into swamp thing. First, we have to make this chicken a whole lot bigger add some muscles on the arms, then color it a swampy green color. And then we gotta texture it far more plant-like, maybe even toss in a flower or two. It's kinda cute. And then we've gotta grow all this plant swamp over Swamp Thing's face as well. We've got the Swamp Thing in the swamp in Minecraft. Slimy, overgrown, flowery. Maybe Swamp Thing has a girlfriend. Compared to the terrain behind him, he looks a little bit brighter. The only indicator to show his dis satisfaction with the universe is that massive, massive, massive crown. But I think we could turn Swamp Thing into a good guy, given that we're gonna bring in a real villain. Swamp Thing might be our biggest defense because the golems always are extremely strong. On top of that, Swamp Thing will spawn in some extra plants to fight as well. And a look at the damage, absolutely annihilating every single Vindicator. This could very well be the difference maker that we're always looking for, but we need a boss to put him to the test. What'll happen? happen if we translate a zombie? Translating cells? Ooh, we could actually make the legendary Pokemon Zygarde. Let's start with his legs, pull this off, and beef it up. And we can build this complete form to bring out the Zygarde cores and cells. Balloon up this zombie torso to build a massive chest. Then build the location for Zygarde's head here. Add a few more green cells. Zygarde's complete form also has a super long tail and two wings coming off of each shoulder for four wings total. And Zygarde is looking as legendary as ever. All four wings, blue on the right, red on the left. Still the long tail remains all the way down and actually quite intimidating. I mean, if we just simply compare Mickey to Zygarde, ooh boy, that difference looks extremely obvious. Mickey Mouse may try to get a hit off. Oh boy, Mickey got whacked, disappeared for a second, tried to go after Zygarde. Zygarde, but got removed again. Mickey Mouse is not giving up, though. Unfortunately, Zygarde instantly knocks Mickey out. It's a good thing we've got a few more mobs. We've got ourselves Master Chief, the Kingpin himself. Purple, not hiding in a vent, and also not near water. SpongeBob with the Krabby Patty formula. The Bone Boss from Fortnite. Jabba the Hutt, a football player. Krampus, who's about to steal every present Zygarde has ever hoped to receive. And we've 
also got the swamp thing. And they are taking smacks at Zygarde. They've got him down to 70% health. Oh, this could go quickly. But the cells of Zygarde have been knocked off and he actually drops down to his 50% form. Zygarde is spawning in mobs that will help him out. You can see them and it may be his victory. Unfortunately, though, it might not happen in time. Zygarde is down to 25% health. Nearly every single model is standing. The footballer goes down. Krampus nearly goes down but manages to survive but not for too long krampus takes another hit jabba the hut vomiting as aggressively as possible but not enough as they both go down the only model left is bone boss hiding behind the coliseum sand bone boss decides to step out onto a platform to start fighting back back onto the platform bone boss trying to get the last few wax out of zygarde is this going to work actually builds a platform right on top of him. Zygarde might not be able to survive. Down to one hit. This is it right here, folks. And bam, bam, bam. This is insane. Bone Boss gets the last hit and there it is. Totally translated ourselves to a victory.